Hi everyone, this is Martin Buber in 5 minutes. Martin Buber was born on February 8, 1878 in Vienna. He was the son of Carl Buber and Elise. At the age of 3, his mother left his father and was raised in Lemberg by his grandparents, Solomon and Adele Buber. He was influenced by Stefan George, Kant, Nietzsche, George Simuel, Karl Stumpf, and Wilhelm Delphi. He was also involved in Zionism, which he viewed it as a way to promote Jewish culture and spiritual development. His wife is Paula Winkler, and they had two children, namely Raphael and Eva Strauss. He was also engaged with the religiousness of Judaism and the belief that man is made in the image of God. He also edited their Jude and worked with friends to create a new German translation of the Bible. He immigrated to Palestine in 1937 and spent the remainder of his life teaching social philosophy in Jerusalem and he died in June 13, 1965. Martin Buber is best known for his book, I and Thou, a short semi-poetic published in 1923. I and Thou is a physical discussion on how we relate to other consciously and unconsciously and what makes us human. This relation takes place out in three main areas of life, and that is the relation to nature, relation to each other, and relation to spiritual life. For Buber, there are two primary words of man, and the primary words are combined words, I thou and I eat, wherein the it can be replaced to he or she. The I of the primary word I thou is a different I of that of the primary word I eat. The primary word I thou can only be spoken with the whole being, while I eat cannot be spoken with the whole being. First, let's focus on the I eat. I eat refers to the objectified way of addressing a person. It means that it sees the other person as a thing rather than a person and I value a person for what he or she can produce or can do for me. Isn't it sad truth that a lot of time our interaction with each other I basically about trying to get the person to do what we want him or her to do. And from here, we can say, I eat relation is monological, where we perceive the other as an eat, to take them as a classified and hence predictable and manipulative object that exists only as a part of one's own experiences, the same way we manipulate the objects. In I eat, we aren't acknowledging each other deep humanity but instead, most of the time, we are just trying to use each other to get what we want. I thou, in English, I you. A kind of relationship is characterized by dialogue and by total presentness, which each participant is concerned for the other person. The honor of